Yo, it's been a week since my last video, so I thought maybe I should do another one. And I just recorded here this noise sample. There's no tonal stuff in there. It's completely random noise. Sounds like this. And of course, we can put this into the sampler here. And usually when you try to get something tonal out of this, you probably want to use here the bandpass filters, right? So maybe here the steep one, put this on C3, use resonance, key tracking here, 100%. And then we can, um, let me see, there's peak limiter, yeah, nice. Uh, we could just can crank up here the resonance and then play this. And then we can generate a fundamental frequency or fundamental sign partial at this uh, frequency here. Um, that's one way, but there's also another way. So last week I tried to make some pad sounds and I was uh, using the textures mode. When you put this here on 0%, right? And then you hit play or hit the key on the keyboard, you basically loop one grain over and over endlessly. Maybe you can hear it. And when you change grain size here, you get the pitch. So the thing with this is that you actually make the grain size so small that it becomes a pitch. Um, so you generally generate a waveform. Um, by just looping a small portion. And we can um, kind of calculate uh, the grain size here for a pitch. You can just use here maybe a node grid, a uh, node to a milliseconds converter, right? So we have here C3 and then we have 262 Hertz and this equals to 3.822 milliseconds in uh, the size of one cycle. So the length of one cycle for C3 is exactly 3.822 milliseconds. So we can type this in here, 88 eight milliseconds. And then when you hit key on the keyboard, you've got exactly the pitch of C3, right? And then you want to change the pitch, of course, with a different key on the keyboard. So you probably want to use your key tracking and then change the grain size here. I think you have to use around 32 here. So we change the grain size with each different key on the keyboard to get a different pitch. But that's very, you know, convoluted and complex. So we have, instead of the textures mode, we can just use uh, the cycles mode, which does exactly the same thing. But here, when you zoom in, you can see we have small little, uh, a small little grid here overlaid over the sample. And then when you hit play or key on the keyboard, you basically loop here one small bit, right? And when you change the key, you change the playback frequency. So that's the same thing, basically, just better and faster. And with this, you get tonal stuff out of atonal sounds, like this noise sample here, right? So you can hear a tone. You can change the formant. And also, even better sometimes, when you have the key tracking on here and you zoom in, you can see here the pitch grid down there. And when you change the root note here, can see it stretches or scales basically this grid or yeah it yeah it sizes the grid differently so then with this you get different portions inside of one cycle so you change the waveform basically with this maybe get here no filter yeah that's better <laughs> So out of this noise, we get now the sound, right? So that's very important because we can generate now any sound with this actually, because this is a wavetable sampler. 
Um, but the wave table is not limited to just 256 um, uh, tables. You can use any length, you can use any sample, any sound. It doesn't matter which pitch or is there any pitch at all in the sample. You can use it inside of the sampler with the cycles mode and get something tonal out of it that's, that's completely inside or yeah, in, in a scale. So maybe turn this down here. Let's use this and use a random modulator here. Put this into freeze mode, smoothing, and then modulate your cycles just a, just a tad. And then a low pass. And then we use your convolution. It's a delay, um, delay plus. Or let's use my uh, preset here and the ambient reverb. And then maybe a reverb at the end. Or maybe let's put the chorus in between. Chorus plus, very slow, eight voices. Maybe also here a low cut. Um, so I think this is a very neat trick to generate sounds with this, uh, with the cycles mode. And I use it all the time because currently I'm trying to make some uh, ambient samples I can use in my uh, DigiTact or uh, in a, inside of a sampler without, you know, creating pads from the ground up every time I try to make a new song. So I come up with some nice samples for pad sounds and I discovered here the cycles mode again. Um, and it's a very great way of creating sounds with it. Um, on top of that, I want to record here something maybe uh, from my microphone. So what I can do here is just hit record and <coughs> uh, maybe talk into my uh, microphone and record something random. Um, so with this here, we can maybe um, let me see, maybe we put this into an instrument layer here and just duplicate this. And here we use a different sample. We can rename this vocals and put this in here and more or less do the same trick here. maybe a bit too loud. So here I can use maybe one octave higher, the format. You can also use all the audio effects here. Let's select them all and put them here into the FX box of the layer. So we can also get rid of here of all the audio effects. So we have it combined here in the FX box on all of these uh, layers. And then we can use your polymer below that and use your saw, unison, that kind of the same envelope here. We can also go into the vocals here and say, instead of using your low pass, we use a notch, 
go back to the center frequency and more or less kill the fundamental or the root of this uh, of this uh, frequency here. So we have room then for fill it in here with the polymer, right? So also here, notch, center frequency. Let's see how this sounds. A plus, so we can get rid of some overtones. of wobble here, pitch wobble. So something like this, it's very great for uh, pet sounds in my opinion. So the cycles mode is, um, as a, to make to make it short, it's actually a wavetable uh, synthesizer. Um, but you don't need to create wavetable uh, wavetable sounds. You get can just drag in some random samples and make everything sound tonal or uh, fit into your scale. So it's a very easy way of creating tonal sounds. So remember, cycles mode, um, very useful. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you liked the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.